You are now watching Always Fresh Apparel. What's up, YouTube? It's Always Fresh Apparel, and today we have the sneaker pickups for December 2013. Yes, I know this video is coming January 6th or 7th of 2014. So in doing that, I want to wish everyone a happy new year. I hope you guys had a safe December 31st and you didn't party too hard. You guys um, didn't make too many mistakes, I hope, that night. And um, I am really excited for the new year. I know every basic person is like, new year, new me, yeah. And I'm not like that at all. I just see it as a time for you guys to better yourselves and to set goals that you guys can achieve. Um, there's like this whole like marketing term because I'm an advertising major. It's like smart. You want to set goals that are smart, which are specific, measurable, achievable, um, reasonable, and I think time specific. I don't know. Oh, I'm not even going to get into a lecture right now. But anyways, so I'm going to take this year to better myself, to better the channel, to better what I am doing, schoolwork, friends, family, all that kind of stuff. And I am rambling and I want to get onto the sneakers now. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pairs of sneakers, two or three of them were from Christmas from my mother and my father. So um, the rest of them I paid for. So let me get into, what do I wanna start with? I know what I'm gonna start with, okay. Oh, real quick, sorry, I'm gonna grab them in a sec. But I wanna shout out uh, Joe Ravagno over at um, JJ Jumpman, the channel, if you guys know, he's a sneaker YouTuber. But um, Jerev Clothing is his brand and he sent me this t-shirt um, and a couple phone cases and a couple lighters. So um, I wanna shout out his brand, Jerev NYC. I'm gonna put his brand link in the description down below. That's what the tee I'm wearing for today's video is. So shout out to you, man, I really appreciate it. Good channel, by the way, if you wanna check out sneakers and, and clothing as well. So let me go grab the stuff. All right, you guys, first up is a pair of shoes that everyone has, but not everyone has this model and this uh, specific type of shoe. So you can probably guess it is a Converse, but it is going to be a, a Chuck, Chuck Taylor high top, pro leather Converse, all white. I love it to death. So it isn't gonna be the canvas Chuck Taylor high top that you guys are normally used to. This is an all white leather sneaker. As you guys, I'm gonna focus it real quick. You guys can tell that tumbled leather right there on the sneaker it goes all around. That is it. I mean, that's, I don't really know what else to say about the sneaker. Um, I really love my white sneakers and my white shoes. So I thought that these were an instant cop. These actually were a part of a Karma Loop haul, but I forgot to show them off. So I, here I am right now showing them off. So they were on Karma Loop. They still might be there. Um, I really just want like a wearable shoe that is white. I mean, I have the um, the Air Max Independence Day packs, as you guys know, but I'm trying to keep those on ice because the hype for them is kind of high right now and I don't really want to, I don't know. I just want to like let it die down and then break them out again. Um, so that's why I got these. So these can be kind of my go-to white shoe. I know you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day. I, I hate that. I hate that rule. So I don't follow that rule. There's no rules in fashion. You can do whatever you want. So these were like for the 60 bucks. Um, so these are really simple, basic shoe that uh, you can wear with anything. So here you guys go. All right, you guys, next up we're, um, it's blurry because I'm gonna focus on the shoes, but next up we are going to get into probably one of my favorite releases in December. These are the Jasper Buffalo Plaids from Diamond Supply Co. These babies are so sexy. Okay, so these dropped in early uh, December. I was staying by their, their website to try to get them because I've seen them like weeks in advance and I knew that this was going to be a sneaker I had to cop. These were retailed for 110, I believe. And I know that a couple other people that I'm friends with got them. Alex Cena got them. Alex Veltri, as you guys know, my friend got them. So we both got them on the same day. But here they are. I'm gonna grab one shoe so you guys can get a little in-depth. We have black suede on the toe box. You got a red and black plaid going around the back of the shoe, along with brown leather accenting uh, everything on the shoe with a brown midsole, brown outsole. I have worn these a couple times. Oh, I forgot. Back zip, look at that, that's so sick. This is honestly kind of what made me want to get the shoe is the back zip. So that's a nice little touch with the, uh, it's a YKK, right? Yeah, YKK zipper right there, as you guys can tell. And these, honestly, like I kind of had trouble trying to find what pants I wanted to wear with them. Um, I, uh, Alex wears them with stonewashed denim. I wear them with, um, with black joggers. So it's really honestly whatever you guys want to do. These might still be available, so check out Diamond Supply Co. Um, no hype beast or anything, I'm done with that kind of word. This is a really sick shoe, it was a no-brainer for me to cop, so here you guys go. The, the Jaspers, the, the Buffalo plaid version while wow, I'm stuttering all over the place from Diamond Supply Co. All right, you guys, next up, getting into two pairs of shoes that my mom and dad got me for Christmas. That was a surprise to me, I had no idea, um, but my mom said she went to the Nike outlet and got a steal of a deal on them, so 
I was like, hell, mom, thank you. I appreciate it. So first up, we have the Finite Chukka in this, I don't even know what the correct colorway is called. I'm not even gonna try to front. It's like the lime and blue colorway, I don't know. Um, but she got these for like, I think like 60 bucks. And these are like $180 sneakers at the outlet. So I was extremely happy that she got them for such a, a, a steal. And um, if you guys don't own Finite Chuckas, these are probably the most comfortable shoes on the planet. Um, they just, that Lunar Lawn technology is just, it's on another level. Um, it really is. So very basic shoe that you can wear with pants and you can wear with shorts and you can kind of dress them up or down. You can really wear whatever you want with them. And that's why I'm such a fan of Finite Chuckas. And the comfort is is off the charts and the craftsmanship quality is, is, is definitely up there. So thank you Nike for making such a great sneaker. I'm gonna get on to the next one. Again, it is a Nike. I'm gonna finish out the rest of the video with Nikes. So let's grab the next one right now. Next up, I got the Nike Lunar Fly 306 QS in the Volt colorway. So as you guys can see, there are no laces on this sneaker. Um, it just has a, a Velcro strap right here. And then this one says just, this one says do it. And then it's got a strap on the back as well that you can adjust and make tighter. So that's how you tighten your shoe. Unfortunately, these are an eight and a half, um, but um, they were the only size left and they had like red, the red ones and the blue ones, but I was a fan of the Volt colorway. So she just got the eight and a half, even though I am a true nine, as you guys know. So really simple sneaker. I really like it because it can go this. I probably would really only wear this with a black and white fit and then just have like a pop, like you know, like a pop of a volt, you know what I mean? Um, we'll see, I really do like them, but we'll see how much use I get out of them. Um, this could be like something I just put on eBay in the future. I'm not really sure. This is kind of more of a summer shoe to me, maybe with some like calf high white socks or black socks or something. Um, I'm not sure yet, probably wear these with joggers as well. So here you guys go, the 306 QS from Nike. I think she got it for like 40 bucks too, so I can, that's a steal that you cannot beat. There you guys go. All right, you guys, next up, we have two pairs of Jordans that I'm gonna show off to you guys today. If you do follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at AlwaysFreshAFA, you probably already know what these ones are. But for you YouTubers out there that do not know uh, and do not follow me, I'm gonna show you guys right now. First up, we have a pair of the Jordan 1 Chicago 1s. As you guys can tell right here, I got these off eBay. It was a steal. I mean, it was a steal in my mind. I paid about 130, 140 shipped for these, which is fine by me. I mean, freaking other Jordans cost like 160 to 180. So paying 140 shipped for these was not bad at all. Um, I did a lace swap. I put the, um, here, I'm gonna show you guys. I put the white laces in there instead of the black that it came with. So they don't come with white laces. I just had an extra pair laying around. And I think the white looks so much cleaner. I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, but I think the white looks way cleaner on these sneakers. Uh, I There's not much to say there. Such an iconic and classic sneaker. I love them to death. I wear them like crazy. Probably gonna take my Jason Mark to them relatively. <laughs> I was gonna say pretty, and I was gonna say relatively. So relatively soon, I was gonna take Jason Mark to these. But just such an iconic and classic sneaker that I wear Honestly, on a weekly basis, it, they don't leave my rotation ever. So, I really do suggest getting a pair of Jordan 1s. Royals, for me, might be next if I can find a decent price. We'll see about that. So, Chicago 1s from Jordan Brand. All right, you guys, and the shoe that everyone was asking me about three or four weeks ago, we have the Air Jordan 1 Black and Red, or Bread, whatever you want to call it. The Bread 1s, Black and Red 1s from Jordan Brand. Um, these are... Amazing. I mean, that's really all I can say. These are incredible sneakers. Uh, the colorway is such a classic and it, it just is so, I was talking to Alex about this. I was like, all it is is black and red. Like, you know what I mean? Like on a sneaker, but the way it was done and the way it was manufactured, it, it just looks so much more than that. I know I'm trying to get all sentimental and emotional here, but these sneakers are beautiful to me. I think they are a work of art. Um, if you do follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I should have probably posted a video before um, they were released, but I did get these early. These are an authentic pair. I know that there's some sneakers guys out there that are like, yo, I'll never get sneakers early. They aren't authentic. They're unauthorized, they're replica. These are completely 100% authentic pairs. Like, believe me, I've done all the comparisons. I've done all the tests. Um, so I got these from my man um, out in uh, Toronto. He runs a shop called Procure Shop and he gets uh, sneakers early as a connect with Jordan brand. So that's where I got them. I will put the link to his website in the description. He hooked me up with a great deal. Um, definitely uh, am blessed. And it also just saved me the trouble of trying to cop them on release day. Cause I know that a lot of people struck out. Um, so big shout out to you Procure Shop. I really do appreciate it. These 
I, these haven't really left my feet ever since I got them. Um, so I know that a lot of people are with me on that. Whoever got these sneakers, you guys know that you love them. These are the 2013s. Uh, I post these on Instagram and some people got the 2000, um, 2001s. And no, I, I ain't like that. I don't have money like that right now. But um, yeah, these are the 2013s. Such an iconic sneaker. Uh, really can't say enough to procure a shop. So thank you again for getting these to me, man. It really does mean a lot. So thank you. Air Jordan 1 breaths. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope I did not ramble too much because I'm looking at my timer and it shows that I did. But whatever, I just wanted to come back at you guys with the sneaker video that you guys have been requesting for a while. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Comment down below what your favorite sneaker was. Hopefully, not all of you say the breads. Um, hopefully some of you guys say maybe the, the Buffalo plaid, the Jaspers. Um, I just want to get your guys' opinion, what you guys are feeling. Comment down below what you guys bought in December. I also want to know what you guys are buying, what you guys are spending your money on, what you guys are, are really feeling. So comment down below what your favorite sneaker of December was and what you copped personally. Leave it in the comments down below. So thank you guys again so much for watching and remember to stay fresh, my friends.